and uh, I was uh, I was doing some testing on this, and uh, actually I should make a change to this. Give me a second here. Just bear with me. Um, I guess I'll play game on Dothbox. Uh, what do I want to do? I'm going to make a change to ECE here. There's a game I just started and I just installed and I kind of wanted to check it out. Uh, all right, let's try this. Okay, I got to make a change to the config file on Steam on uh, DOSBox here. Bear with me. Oh, hey there, Cosmic. Uh, you just missed uh, me beating Star Trek Bridge Commander, followed by the computer, the old machine just completely crapping out. And it's like, it's done. It was good timing, too, because <laughs> I don't know what happened. Uh, but I couldn't, I mean, after a while, the hard drive just kept making uh, noises. Like it was turning on and off. So that was, that was bad. You were playing Masters of Magic, eh? Uh, Master of Magic. Did you play it like vanilla or did you play it with that Caster of Magic DLC that they're now selling? With Casters of Magic? Okay. Does it make the game like really hard to play? Cause I was playing, I played Master of, Master of Magic years and years ago and I really want to play it again. But if casters and magic makes it really hard to because I'm not very good at it, but I would like to play it. I'm doing some Merlin with high men. I've been growing bands of pounds of water walking all over the world's rebounds. Okay. All right. That's, that's a good sign. But, um, today we, um, I don't really even, I hope this works. I had to switch it. I had to decrease the, I did decrease it to a 386. I don't know if that's going to do it. Where is it? Uh, there it is. All right. Let's uh, do that. Connect that to there. And here we go. UGA track. <laughs> oh, that's some awesome PC speaker music. My ears are bleeding. Ah! It's a little loud. Oh my god, my ears. My beautiful ears. Oh, all right. EGA Trek, the final frontier. <laughs> Version 2.31. Before, you, I think, was it CBS or Universal? One of them basically sued the author. And he had to, like, switch it all. All right, EGA Trek. Now that we beat <laughs> Rich Commander, we can go to the my one of my first games I ever played. And one of my favorites. EGA Trek. Welcome aboard, Captain. There's no music, so I'm going to actually have to play some in the background. I guess we'll just, um, I guess I'll have to go on YouTube and play some Star Trek music in the background. Probably from, um, Bridge Commander. Whoops. Because, uh, well, I don't think that'll get me. I don't think that'll get it flagged. Uh... There we go, we loop that playlist. All right, here we go. Welcome aboard, Captain. You require a briefing. Yes. Good morning, Captain. As you know, you have been given command of the Constitution Class Heavy Cruiser USS Enterprise, construction contract NCC-1701. The Enterprise is staffed 
with its full complement of 387 enlisted crewmen and 43 officers and is fully battle ready. If you allow me, I've prepared several briefings, including an intelligence report on the current state of affairs, an introduction to Constitution class starships, and the commands at your disposal as captain. Hit for next page or cue to quit briefing. Enter. Intelligence report. The Organian Peace Treaty of 3199.5 has collapsed and the Federation is now at war with the Klingon Empire. <laughs> Damn you, Spock's half-sister. <laughs> Damn you. The Romulan Star Empire has joined the hostilities through their presence and is rather limited. Though their presence is rather limited. As a result, the Klingon invasion fleet is now present in parts of Federation territory. Your mission as commander of the Enterprise is to secure a 64 coordinate section of the galaxy from the Klingons. You may also be called on to make rescues, but remember that your primary objective is to eliminate the Klingons. Klingons are known to be present in this area, but exact locations are unknown at this time. You will be required to scan for Klingons as you move through the galaxy. We have made several star bases available in this area as well, though we cannot give you their exact location as they are presently still being positioned. Okay. Here we go. Class 1 Heavy Cruiser, cruiser Constitution Class Starships. 387 crew, Ensign Grade, 43 officers under command. USS Enterprise, NCC-1701. MK-9 Class, authorized 0965. A lot of... There's a lot of descriptions here, but we got our primary hull, sensors, torpedo tubes, secondary hull, main engines, and impulse engines. Navigation section. The Enterprise has a cruising speed of up to warp factor 6. Huh. And can manage warp 8 in emergencies. I didn't know that. I always thought it was warp 9. <laughs> this is for traveling between quadrants, of course. Within a quadrant, you have to you have the use of impulse engines. Follow commands are available to you. Move. Alright. This ship is quite sophisticated. Alright, so these are just the command things. Uh, I'm not going to read through this all. But I do need to know because I'm. It's been. I think the last time I played this, I was like six. So. It's been a while. <laughs> need to specify the quadrant. For example, 62, comma, 6, comma, 2, comma, 6, 5. Moves you to quadrant 62, sector 3, 5. Okay. Vertical coordinates are always entered first. To use impulse power within a quadrant, specify only the sector. 3, 5. Okay, okay, okay. Alright. Doc, you'll need to visit starbase as often if you're a ship. When you're a sector directly adjacent to a starbase, issue this command. Engineering. Uh, how old is this Enterprise and TNG was this Galaxy class? Yes, so TNG Enterprise was Galaxy. Uh, this is the Constitution class. So this is from the original TV show. Or the classic era of Star Trek. The Enterprise is powered by a manner antimatter converter, which supplies the energy needed to move the ship. Fire weapons. Ah, okay. Engineer is responsible. I did a test run. I, I, I didn't know. I skipped all this. I didn't know. <laughs> so warp. Use this command to inform engineering of warp speed you require from the engines when moving to a quadrants. Okay. Energy is used by a number of different systems aboard the energy. Okay. Repair. All right, fix. Okay. Weapons. The OG Enterprise. Yeah, yeah well, you're going to see the way this, the interface looks. And for me, it looks amazing. But some people might be like, oof. <laughs> but then again, I am... I am more... This is one of my favorite... Well... Star Trek games, I guess. <laughs> phasers, torpedo. Use this command to fire phasers, phaser control, cross instructions, okay. Torpedo, you have three torpedo tubes available, okay. The torpedo control officer requests instructions, all right. Shields up, shields down. I believe you can use the arrow keys, right? Yes, up arrow and down arrow, okay. So raising shields draws a small amount of energy from the main energy bank, so you do not want to raise shields needlessly. Scanners. There are two types of scanners. Short range scanners show you everything in the current quadrant because of their importance and they continue scanning at all times. Long. 
This command does a long range scan. The resulting display shows nine quadrants. Quadrants containing Klingons are highlighted. Chart. So you notice that it says long and chart. These are commands you have to manually type in. So this is the way the interface kind of looks. <laughs> so these are examples of long and short range scans. The data shown on the long range scans presented identically to the method used in the galaxy chart. So a separate example for the command is not shown. So the one on the right is your long range scan sample. The scan shows the nine closest quadrants centered around the one the Enterprise is currently in. For each quadrant, there is a three digit number. The first digit is the number of Klingons. So 102 at 2, dot, 2 comma 1, there's one Klingon there. The next is the type of star base. And the third is the number of stars. In the lower right quadrant is an example a quad containing a supernova. Oh, 999. The first digit. So what does the one mean at one comma three? The type of star base. Does it tell you here? Uh, so we have the Enterprise, a star, Klingon, Klingon base. Ah, okay. A Federation base, a planet, a Nova, and Romulan. Okay. Communications. Oh boy. To acknowledge a message, you should enter the, the A immediately, followed by the number of the message you wish to acknowledge, A2. Ah, I have to acknowledge messages. Okay. Does this command communicate your desire to quit? The switch becomes helpless. You can use this command to self-destruct. <laughs> With any luck, you'll take a few Klingons. See, that's the way games should be. Give you a self-destruct option. Hail. You can hail a starbase. All right, we can orbit planets, land on planets, and use... Any useful items you find during your mission bees. Restore save game. No. I have a test file, but no, no, no. Please enter your name. What should be my name? Well, that works. Um, you know what? I don't think he's here anymore, but he was the first one to pop in in chat. <laughs> So we're going to use his name. For verification, enter your command level. I believe this is the difficulty level. Uh, so we're going to pick three. Or should I pick two? <laughs> I'm not very confident in my ability to play. I believe I've beat this game before as a child, but I'm pretty sure I did one. Also, I think one to five showed it to populates. Uh, it increases the number of Klingons the higher you... Uh, increase the level. So we'll actually do level two, <laughs> three. We'll do three. Captain, please enter the self destruct password. <laughs> What's my. Uh, cosmic. Ah, that's too. Potato. Po pot. No. Con. There we go. And here it is. The main screen for Star Trek. <laughs> Star Trek. EGA Trek. So, we're at warp 1. We have 43 Klingons that we have to destroy. It's star date 3500. Status is green. Those are, that's our system status at the bottom screen. That's our main viewer showing us various pieces of information. You can actually see the sun in front of us. So you can see the sun on the grid 2, 3. If you look at the main viewer, you'll see it off there. I don't understand what the graph field is. I don't know if that's just for flavor or that's actually more than that. Uh, but yeah, let's first. Oops. Command warp. Warp speed three. And where do I want to go? So there are no bases in long range. So we do long. 
Long range scan for quadrant five six. So I should head to four five, right? Uh, four five comma. Uh, I guess we have to pick a area of that, like a sector for that quadrant. So four five comma six five six. Blocked by object at two three. Oh right. So the sun that's right in front of us, we we have to actually move out of its way. So move to one comma four. So there we go. And now move. What was it? Four five. Uh, five six. There we are. All right. So long range scans have shown three Klingons in sector five four. Uh, and there's a base, so we're going to move to, well, no. Should I turn on my shields? Now nah, we're just, so five, four, comma. Oh, no. Uh, five, one, the sun will be in the way. No, it won't be in the way. Oh, yeah, yeah. Five, five, four, comma, five, uh, seven, eight. There we go. Shields up. So raising shields. And A, one, A, two. Clear those. So we can see right off the bat there are four Klingons. Hey, that's not right. Scan said there would be three Klingons. You lied to me. <laughs> uh, but... There are, there's actually four Klingons, but there's a star base of some sort. Um, I believe the red is a command, a Klingon command ship. So let's move to a comma two. Oh, they fired. Uh, we're now adjacent to the starbase. So our shields have absorbed some of the damage. And we took a little damage. Our warp engines are now in slightly damaged. So damage control. Whoops, we docked. I didn't mean to dock. <laughs> Whoopsie. Okay, this is Starbase 4. Uh, engineering? There we go. No, that's energy. Divert energy. No. Oh, we can press F1, I believe. Yeah, F1. There we go. Uh, repair. Hit continue. Oh, fix. It's F, right? Uh, list. I need to concentrate repairs on warp engines. All right. So let's fire. Hey, is it just mirrored that more Klingon ships appear? No, there's five of them. <laughs> One, two... Three, four, five, there's five. What? All right, we're firing torpedoes. Number to fire three. Fire the first torpedo at seven comma two. Fire the second torpedo at two comma two. And the second is two comma six. Oh, so we destroyed the first Klingon and the other two were clean misses. Okay, they moved. Um, fire, because I'm right next to the, the star base, so I think I can che I can cheese this actually. So let's fire sector first one at five comma three. Second one two dot two again, and the second one at the other. There we go. So two comma the one at two dash six was destroyed, and we damaged the other. Let's fire phasers. Amount to fire at three four. So, the, as far as phasers work, they're automatic. Like you're gonna hit. The thing is, is that they. I don't know how. To, I don't know how this works. So the amount of fire. I don't know what that means. So, what? 
I know you can do, do more than 100. So we'll do 150 at 3, 4. What's a command ship, so? Eighty-three unit hit on commander. Uh, the temperature of our phasers went up. <laughs> we'll do another one fifty. All right. Damage report: Starbase shields protect Enterprise. That's good. What's cool is that I can dock, and all my torpedoes re get replenished. <laughs> That's a nice little cheap way. So let's fire our torpedoes again. 2.2. 2. 5, 3. And 4,4. 4. All right. Torpedo again. 5,4. Wait, what? There we go. Dock again. All right. So that leaves 38 Klingons that we have to destroy. Excellent. Fire everything. <laughs> All right. Shields down. Uh, list. This is a desperate measure. Are you sure you want to do this? No. What was F1 again? What is... No, what is... S is self-destruct. Ah, okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> let's acknowledge these messages. So A1, A2, A3, A4. Cool. So we can clear the table out. Uh, repair. Do I need repairs? No, everything's fine. Um... Anything, what else do I have to do? Nothing. All right. So let's to raise our shields and let's change our warp speed to warp five. And warp to, well, I mean, move to six comma three comma six comma seven. All right. We have a green Klingon. A Klingon supply ship. Info. Klingon supply ship. Sector 7-5 bearing... Its shields are at 80%. I didn't even know you could do that. Man, you can see this game has a lot of... Has a lot... Has a lot going for it. Um... It's a supply ship, right? So it must be um, going to a base. Uh, is that 7-5? By the way, I think if you fire torpedoes into the, su the star, I think you can make it go Nova. And if there are any ships adjacent to it, they'll get damaged. Oop, another ship popped in. The matter energy convert, uh, matter antimatter converter is down to 62%. It just failed. What? All right, let's fire another torpedo. Three comma one. Oop, fire phasers. 160. I have no idea how the phasers work. 71 unit hit on Klingon. We'll type info. Its shields are down to 20%. There we go. 99 unit destroyed. Hit on Klingon. Klingon destroyed. All right. We cleared that out. Let's move back to the Starbase and dock. Because our... It's actually... Concentrate repairs on the anti antimatter converter. Do you want to make repairs while in space? No. 
I guess because I'm going to fall back to the starbase and repair there anyways. Is it 8 2? Oh, the starbase moved. Move to. Shields down, dock. Fix. Repair. Yes. How many star dates do you want to repair about, uh, for? Um, two? Alright. It's fully repaired. energy at? Main energy is set to... Everything's fine. We'll set warp... Actually, we'll set it back to three. I was trying to find the... Oh, if you press F2, it brings up weapons control. That's cool. Oh, who? F3 is torpedoes. F4 is move. I didn't know that. <laughs> uh, where is the one that gives you, like... I'm trying to find the one that gives you, like, the glossary of stuff. Oh, sorry. Can you slingshot in time travel? <laughs> Only in my dreams. Um, move to three comma three comma four five. Oh shoot! Shields up. Three torpedoes. First one at. You know what? We're gonna fire at that sun over there. Uh, so six dot two. Next one at 5.6. And the third torpedo at 2,6. Torpedo triggers Nova. Two Klingons destroyed. 90 unit hit on absorbed by shields. Ha ha ha! Oh, communications. The starbase at 2-7 reports it is under attack. It can last until star date 3512.5. What is it now? 3509. All right. Two seven. All right, so move two dot seven, comma. Yeah. Whoa, my short range scanners just went offline. Uh oh, <laughs> isn't this two dot seven? This is two dash six. I probably should have had my shields up when I did that. Uh, move to... Oh no. Life support damage. Now it's 79%. <laughs> move to... I need to get out of here. Blocked at object 82. Oh my god. Ah! <laughs> Loss of the US <laughs> USS Enterprise lost the battle of Klingons to start it with all aboard. Results of operation. Ah, oh, score minus six hundred and thirty-eight. Ah, uh, yikes. Penalty for loss of ship minus two hundred points. Penalty for you lose more points for not completing the mission than losing your own ship. Casualties aboard the Enterprise four hundred and thirty. <laughs> Play again? Yeah, we'll play again. Uh, yeah, actually, I will take the briefing just because I just want to see. There we go.
Oh, it doesn't tell you. Never mind. Try three again. Potato. We... <laughs> we uh, popped in in the middle of combat. At least this game has replayability. Uh, all right, focus on shields. Six, eight. Wait, no. Shoot. I lost my strut range scanner again. Alright, so it actually tells you where it is, so... Main injuries down to 76%, shields are at 51. From... let's divert engines from impulse to shields. Mounted energy divert one fifty one forty. All right, shields are back to fifty seven percent. Was it six eight? Oh, okay. We're only going to fire one torpedo. There we go. Six eight's been destroyed. We took uh, damage from 2 1. Eighty percent shields. Shields down, we need to go to our base. 5-2. Alright, our short range scanner came back. Uh, move to... Okay, now move to 5-2. Move to two dot one dock. Oh, okay. Repairs. Oops. Phasers, yes. Okay, everything's back. Starbase three seven is under attack. They're not going to hold out. <laughs> Go to warp 8. Um, Warp engines damaged by excessive speed. But we made it to the starbase. <laughs> uh, move to... 7-7. Seven, seven. Dock. We dock at the starbase. 
I'm gonna fire three torpedoes. Fire torpedo one at four comma four, and the other one at four comma four again and four comma one. Whoops. We just made that sun go nova. <laughs> Move to six, eight. There we go. My warp engines are like, oh, because I went so fast, that's why. It's a Klingon scout. <laughs> Yay! So repair time at dock will take 1.6. Time dock undock would take 3.8. So we're docked, luckily. And then uh, repair. Whoops, no, fix be six on the warp engines yes 1.6 there we go so repaired it now let's head to five comma eight and warp to three sector three by six Blocked by object at 6-4. Oh. The manner the converter's failing again. Why does this thing keep failing? Oops, that was 7-7. Seven, seven. Point eight while well docked. There we go. Romlin Death Pod enters quadrant. Sixty eight unit hit on Enterprise. Okay. Everything's fine. Now can we go to 3-6 to scout. The shields are down to 60%. Scout escaped to quadrant three five. We're firing a torpedo at it. The scout escaped to three four. Ah! Move to three one. Now move to three comma four. There we go. We're not letting you go. This music is very appropriate. <laughs> there we go, scout destroyed. Uh, let's move back to... 5-2. And dock with the station. That would be 5-3, right? Now dock. Uh, repair, wait, no, f yeah, repair. Point nine to repair it while docked. So, next. Um, there's a point. F oh shoot! Damn it! <laughs> I forgot the timing. Point five. All right. So far, so good. 
Let's move to... Oops. 1, 2, 2, 3, 4. Okay, but we found Klingons. There's 23 Klingons left. Move to 1, 3, scout. Excellent. Move to... Alright. Two Klingons, both of them regular ships, or regular battleships. Fire one torpedo F-4-6. Move to seven five. Torpedo one at seven two. Ooh, that was close. I accidentally hit seven instead of the seven two. And because it was in front of that sun, <laughs> the Klingon got destroyed. But if there wasn't a Klingon there, I would have been in for a bad time. <laughs> uh, let's actually go back to five two. For the star base. Oops. Eight six. Shoot. Now move. The Photon Torpedoes are about to be destroyed. Oh, because I probably used them so much. 1.1 um, while docked. Five to repair the Photon Torpedoes. Yes. There we go. Let's clear that out. I'm actually going to save. <laughs> um, save game. I can't think of anything. Uh, right. So, there are 20 Klingons left. We got everything back. Let's just make sure. Everything is good. Move to 2, 1. Let's, let's go say hi to those Klingons. Wow. Matter and, uh, the matter converter is down to 79%. Computer damage at 89%. You're gonna have to fire torpedoes. Uh, first one, 5 1. Next one, 5 2. And the other one, it's 7 5. Alright, fire the other two torpedoes. 5 1, 7 5. Concentrate repairs on the converter. Information not available. Computer is down. <laughs> Crap. Um, oh yeah, I also lost my long range scans because the computer's damaged. Shields are at half point. There we go. Down to three torpedoes, uh, but we're going to fire another one at 6 3. Nice. Uh, was it 5 2 where the starbase was? Delta. X. What? Okay, cancel. Pair. 10. 
Yes. Wait, no. Uh, I need to take a look. How long will it take to fix undocked? Point two. Okay, that's good. Fix list. Ten. Yes. Point two. All right, the computer's back. But we lost all our scans. Oh, you're kidding me. Oh, nuts. Uh, hmm. enough so we repaired the converter again five five two yay oh thank goodness all right move to five eight and dock my life support is failing how did that happen the ship is falling apart life support Yes, one star date. There we go, we're back to full strength again. 16 Klingons left on the map. Uh, let's move... Let's warp to... 7-7. Seven, seven. And see how that goes. All right, seven, seven, definitely a hit. There are three, five, six, seven, eight Klingons. So. Move to eight, seven. Oh. The Manor and the hell my God, 39%. Starfleet HQ warns of a star having gone snooping over in quadrant 38. Huh. Converter again. All right, it's back to normal. Seven by six. We got four ships now. Okay, well, no, it's four ships. So green is supply, right? Yeah. So we're gonna fire phasers and I'm going to the supply ship. 120. And the actual ship. Alright, destroyed the Klingon. The Klingon at 5-6 surrenders. Do you accept? What happens if you accept it? Yeah. The Klingon ships captured supplies. Click the Klingon dilithium and life support supplies. Cool. So now my shields are failing. <laughs> uh, repair. Shields. Time on dock will take 1.6 to fix. So, repair. Oops, fix. Shields are at 69%. Yes. Is that one point? Damn it, why do I keep forgetting? Point six. Okay. Whoops. No. One point six. We went back to one point six. What? Huh. I thought it was point six. Well, that's fine. Uh, fix list two yes 1.6 starters all right everything's back to normal we've got six torpedoes left 
move to eight com oh, eight eight comma five. Now let's move again to oh, eight by seven. Two Klingon supply ships, and there's a planet. Nice. Always wanted to check out a planet. Phaser efficiency reduced by damage. What? What the hell happened? Shields are down to 40%, the other one is down to 40%, so. The Klingon of 4-3 surrenders, yes. So we got plasma bolts, dilithium, and life support supplies. And the other one surrender too. <laughs> nice. Alright. So let's can we Orbit. Standard orbit around a planet. So move to. Raman Death Pod enters quadrant. 89 unit. Alright, I guess it was a good thing I. So let's actually save. And then. Uh, repair. Oops, yeah. No. Abort. No. I want to see the repairs. 2.7 while undocked. Clear that. Let's orbit the planet. Entering standard orbit. Planet Vega 8. Type O. Scanner show a destroyed settlement on the planet. Um. I guess we'll land. Cannot use transporters or shuttle cover with shields up. Okay, shields down. <laughs> land. How do you wish to get to the planet? Shuttlecraft, transporter, or abort landing? We'll do shuttlecraft. Launching shuttlecraft. Landing parties arrived. Dilithium successfully mined. Shuttlecraft returning. Nice. Cool. So. Use a miscellaneous item. Oh, here we go. This is what I wanted to see. Your ship, Romulan. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Long range scan objects. All right, so zero, the type of base, that's what I wanted. One is a star base, two is a research station, three is a supply depot. And the number of stars is the last digit. Okay, oh, okay. Hey there, Fred. I didn't know Bridge Command had potato settings. Potato settings are amazing settings because this looks amazing. <laughs> we just finished, I finished uh, Br Bridge Commander. Um, and then, funnily enough, my computer, the Pentium started just dying. Absolutely dying. Um, you know what? Let's actually change the... Uh, let's change this, because I beat it. Not... Let's change the title. And, um, let me change the, yeah, we'll get rid of that, because, uh, it might be confusing. There we go. But how are you doing, Fred? Hope you're having a good, uh, had a good weekend. And that you're keeping well. Use. Which item do you want to use? Plasma bolts, Klingon dilithium, life support supplies, and raw dilithium. Um, I don't know. I guess I don't need to use any of it. 
help. <laughs> Alright, let's go to quadrant 7 by 8. And say hi. Alright, we got... Ooh, I got a... Kind of lucked out there. Gotta raise those shields. <laughs> we got a Klingon supply ship. One battleship. Oh, two battleships. Alright. So let's fire torpedoes. Two to fire. Uh, the first one at two by four. The next one at five by six. Both of them down. Let's fire phasers at that supply ship. The Klingon to three three surrenders. Yes, yes. He captured more dilithium and life support supplies. Now we have seven Klingons left on the map. Um, I only have four torpedoes, so let's. Let's go to quadrant three by seven. And there's a star base there. Yep. Life support failing. What? How does that keep happening? All right, well, doesn't matter. I can dock. So, point three on dock time for repair. There we go. Now I just gotta hunt for these remaining Klingons. So. We're actually gonna increase our warp to four. Now we're gonna, we're gonna save before I do this. Uh, eight by two. Oops, no, move to eight, quadrant eight by two. And grid five six. There we go. We got four ships. We've got one battleship, one commander, one scout. Okay, so two battleships, commander, and a scout. God damn it. The converter failed again. Enterprise caught in a long range tractor beam. Pull to quadrant eight by three. Whoa, I didn't even know that it could happen. Or we're not even at the place we're supposed to be at. <laughs> okay, so let's, let's acknowledge the rest of those missions. Uh, figure that out. First things first. Fire three torpedoes. One at five by one. Eight by three. 8 by 2 that will be the second torpedo. And the third torpedo at 6 by 6 on my commander. Alright, good job. The commander's at 50% shields, so phasers. 150 on that. And 3 by 8 on the scout. Scout is at 80% shields. The commander is at 30% shields. The scout escaped a quadrant 8 too, so I'm going to have to chase it. There we go, destroyed it. The scout escaped the 8 1. We're going to move away from the star just in case. Oops. Shields are... Okay. We're gonna... There we go. Took out the... Took it out. Alright, that leaves us with three Klingons left on the map. 
Move to five two. Wait, no, no, no. Five, move to two by four. Now move to sector five by two. There we go. Move to two by eight. Dock. And let's check out our repairs. Uh, we need 0.5 time to repair our warp engines. Yes. 0.4. There we go. Alright. That leaves only a few places left to find the remaining Klingons. So 5, 7... If I go to quadrant five by seven, that'll give me the two adjacent sectors to it. So let's do that. Five by seven. Ah, the three remaining Klingons are at five by eight. Is that right? No, that's not right. <laughs> it's five by eight. That should be five. That should be the first marker. Then five by five. There they are. A Roman death pod hit me at the same time. Clear all the messages. Let's fire our torpedoes. Three torpedoes. Six. You know what? In all its glory, this needs. You need to hear the, the music. Six by one, eight by seven, and three by seven. One Klingon left. Move to six by two. It's down to 20% shields. Photon torpedo, or life support failed. <laughs> one torpedo at six by one. Bam! Well, that was fast. Uh, from Commander Starfleet, oof, some great music, to Captain USS Enterprise, NCC-1001, date 3583.3, regarding battle result results. Captain, the results of your operation against the Klingon Empire have been evaluated. We found the following. Star days in action, 83.3, Klingon ships destroyed by per star date, 0.36, score 1055. Rescues at 200 each, 200 points. Uh, bonus for completing the mission, 350 points. 27 Klingons at 10 points each, giving us 270. Three commanders killed, 60 points. Zero bases destroyed for 50 points, well, zero points. 0. 0.6 kills per day ratio at 500 per day, giving us 180. So we, whoa, okay. No casualties, we lost nobody on a fair starship. One, we destroyed a star. We lost five points, but no star base we destroyed. That's probably the best result I've ever gotten. That's some damn good PC speaker music. I wonder how long it goes for. There we go. Oh, okay, it's relooping. There we go. For outstanding, okay, I didn't even make it. Oh, I did. 1,055. Captain level. Rank of captain. So, oh, Commodore and Admiral. Ah, I see, I see, I see. So depending on the difficulty, it places you. Oh, okay, okay. So Commodore would be level four, Admiral would be level five. Play again. Um. No, you know what? Uh, it was a shorter stream, but hey, we've technically beat two games. <laughs> so, thanks for playing EGA Trek. EGA Trek 2.31 is distributed as shareware. If you continue to use this program, please support the author by paying $15 or more to register. If you already have, thanks. Honestly, I actually would pay the 15 if I had the money. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I would. I definitely would. It's definitely a good game. But I think he put it up for free on his website. The only thing is that the Star Trek version... 
uh it's not available the the reskinned one it's not i mean the recoded one i believe he got sued because uh i guess uh, cbs or whomever owned yeah cbs didn't take too kindly to him using the star trek license so he had to rechange he had to change it all uh to something else but uh, there is there is a website which actually I forgot the name of it, but it actually does have the different versions of Star Trek, uh, of, of EGA Trek. Uh, and this is the most recent version before he switched over to. I think they ch- changed it to the Lexington, and instead of Klingons, you're fighting the Mongols. He even had to change the design of the ship. It looks really it doesn't look great. <laughs> it looks like a big triangle. Um, but yeah, uh, EGA Trek. I grew up with this version, and it's fantastic. I love it. Oh man, so good. Uh, this copyright is 1991, but I clearly played something else because I originally played this on a 286. Oh, thank you, Apollo. It was good. Thanks for at least sticking around for it. I'm glad that uh, um, you stuck around and watched me get one losing run and one winning run. I'm probably going to play this again. Uh, I wouldn't mind playing it again at a higher difficulty level. It's a really good game. It's really in-depth. Um, you can go to planets... Uh, you can, uh, like fix different portions of your ship. There's a death ray. Uh, and if all else fails, you can do that self-destruct. Well, what happens if you do self-destruct? Uh, no. Yes. Self? This is a desperate measure. Are you sure you want to do this? Yes. Enter a self-destruct password. What was it? Potato? <laughs> we took out the star base as well. Oh, I didn't say it. Okay. But we went from 1,000 points to like minus 521. No. That was cool. Uh, the comp- It's still too fast. I, I set the DOS box settings to a slow 386, but I remember playing this on a 286. Uh, that was the first time I played it, and it, that was the perfect speed to play it at. This is a little too fast. But yeah that will do it that was a lot of fun all right um that was great we beat star trek bridge commander and then my computer my pentium died (laughs) good timing because there were no other there were no real no real no other real games that i had lined up to play on there so i'll probably go back to something else on the on my current pc and in the meantime i'll try and fix it but what the fact that it did that multiple times during the the after the game was beat, where the hard drive just kept shutting off like that, that's a bad sign uh, for the health of the computer. Uh, but yeah, and then afterwards we did EGA Trek. That was um, that was good. I, I I've been wanting to play that and to beat it uh, on on not the easiest level on default difficulty makes me happy. So uh, yeah. Uh, that was great so a big thank you to everyone who came in fred apollo cosmic uk dude bro bandits uh all of you thank you so much um pretty quiet night but still i got a lot done beat two games it was a lot of fun i can now add uh, ega trek (laughs) to my completed games list uh macaw's playing barbarian adventure games but who else is playing something in the retro channel? Let's take a look. Let's take a looky loo and see whom we can give a host or a raid to. Um, let's see, anyone playing a PC game? There are a lot more people streaming in this retro channel now, now that. Um, a lot of people have a lot of time to stay at home. The place is becoming quite a bit more popular, which is nice. Comic Zone. Oh my god, is no one playing a PC game here, though? I thought that said, I thought that said Hitman 1, but it's something else. Oh man, it's all... Oh wow, okay, Barbarian Games it is. 
It looks like Macaw is playing um, Amiga games. He's playing some Barbarian games, so I'll give him a host. And, um... Oops. And I'll call it a night there. Uh, but yeah, thank you to everyone again. Uh, hopefully I'll catch you on the next time I'm on. And, uh, uh, take care. Have a great night. And, uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.